Welcome to a brand new episode of the UFO Show. In this installment, we'll see a massive upgrade to the study of UAPs in the government, some bold extraterrestrial predictions from one of the world's most Bang. infamous psychics, Bang. and we'll wonder whether or not aliens will change the way we think about religion. Dear God, let's get to it. It seems like not an episode of the UFO show goes by where we're not updating you on just how seriously the government has begun to take UAPs. If 2021 proved to the world that the US government is genuinely curious, even concerned, about the flood of UFO sightings that happen across the globe yearly, especially sightings made by the US military, then 2022 might very well be the year our curiosity turns into something more tangible. We already know that an office in the Department of Defense was created to study unidentified aerial phenomenon, even though it was met with skepticism by some. That office, snappily called the Airborne Object Identification and Management Synchronization Group, or AOIMSG for short, is run by the Under Secretary of Defense. But an amendment in the 2022 National Defense Authorization Act means the study of UAPs will be much broader than previously thought. The amendment, spearheaded by New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, will establish a formal office to carry out a coordinated effort on the collection and analysis related to UAPs. Via press release, Gillibrand stated, the goal is to establish an office that would replace the current Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force and would have access to Department of Defense and Intelligence Community data related to UAPs. Thank you for watching The UFO Show, and I ask that if you enjoy our shows, subscribe to our channel right now, like this video, and click on the bell so you can be notified each time a new video goes up. Now back to the show. Furthermore, the office will have the authority to establish a coordinated effort to report and respond to UAPs, significantly improve data sharing between agencies on UAP sightings, address national security concerns, and report health effects people may experience in relation to UAP events. In a quote included in the press release, Gillibrand says, my amendment will establish a formal office to report and respond to UAPs and give us the scientific capabilities needed to track and share data, investigate sightings, and develop a response to this growing security threat. The United States needs a coordinated effort to take control and understand whether these aerial phenomena belong to a foreign government or something else altogether. Ah, there it is. Something else altogether. Well, obviously the main thrust of these UAP studying offices appears to be to find out if foreign governments have technologies beyond our understanding. It also becomes clear that the fact we can't explain most of these sightings leaves the door open to other possibilities. Something else altogether, indeed. The amendment was a bipartisan effort, with Gillibrand joined by Republican Senators Marco Rubio, who has been an outspoken proponent of UFO study, and Lindsey Graham. And as the National Defense Authorization Act has passed both the House and the Senate, it looks like the rebooted UAP office will be established sometime in 2022. Should we get more excited than we already have been for information on UFOs? As usual, we can only wait until significant data is shared with the public. But every month, we seem to be getting a little closer to some pretty big revelations. We'll keep you posted, as always. You may know the name Yuri Geller, an Israeli-born psychic, magician, and illusionist. He's famous for supposedly bending spoons just using the power of his mind. Now, it's fair to be skeptical of Geller's alleged achievements in the field of psychokinesis. But it's worth noting, the man was once studied by the CIA in an effort to talk to beings on Mars and potentially read the minds of the Soviets in the 1980s. So perhaps there's something to be said of his proclamations of being gifted with a higher intelligence. In any event, Geller recently made a pretty bold prediction. 
aliens will reveal themselves in the next 60 to 75 years. Not only that, but they've already been here and helped build some of our most famous landmarks. Some intriguing tidbits from Geller's recent interview with The Sun. Geller claims he was once shown remnants of a crashed UFO at NASA, alongside famed German rocket scientist Werner von Braun and astronaut Edgar Mitchell. In addition to seeing a piece of a UFO, Geller said the astronaut, who was the sixth man on the moon, had some kind of ESP experience on the moon and knows for a fact the aliens exist. But naturally, he can't say much about it. Geller says aliens are studying us, but he doesn't know exactly what they want. That said, he believes they're gentle, and the proof is in the pudding. If they weren't, we would have been destroyed a long time ago. Fair point. Geller also predicts the aliens will land on the White House lawn or someplace similarly significant, and that, quote, all our science fiction films about alien encounters will come true. Well, let's not hope all of them come true. We don't want an Independence Day scenario playing out. But Geller's got even more intel on the extraterrestrials. They've been visiting our planet for years now. He says, quote, some of the monuments around the world, such as Stonehenge, were built with acoustical energy by extraterrestrial knowledge that was given to the locals. The pyramids in Egypt and Easter Island and Chile as well. There is no doubt that they were built with higher knowledge. What there's no doubt about is that Geller's claims should be taken with a grain, or hell, a boulder of salt. Bend. 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 No. But let's leave that to the skeptics for now and consider the possibility that some of what he says is feasible like the part where aliens show up in roughly 60 years. That's one we're comfortable running with. The others, we'll ruminate on a little longer. One of the biggest questions we have to come to terms with as a society in regards to UFO is, how would we, or will we, react once their existence is proven beyond a doubt? Will we immediately panic and head for the bunkers? Will we attempt to reach out in a peaceful manner? Will we question everything we thought we knew? Will we look to whichever God we pray to for help? These questions were at the center of a fascinating study conducted by NASA some years ago. According to a book written by one Reverend Dr. Andrew Davison, a NASA-sponsored group of about 24 theologians were commissioned to research just how humanity might respond if incontrovertible proof of extraterrestrial life were to come out. The Center for Theological Inquiry in Princeton, New Jersey, was where the study took place. And the director of the CTI, Will Storer, claims NASA wanted to see, quote, serious scholarship being published in books and journals, addressing the, quote, profound wonder and mystery and implication of finding microbial life on another planet. One of the Reverend Davison's contentions is that, quote, a large number of people would turn to their religious traditions for guidance, which certainly makes sense for the very faith-based among us. It's hard not to believe that definitive proof of aliens would rattle almost all of us to our very cores, which might prove doubly true for people who've invested much time and thought into their religious beliefs. The question then becomes, does the proof of alien life alter whatever it is you place your faith in. As Davison puts it, he's thinking about the hypothetical discovery of alien life's bearings on, quote, the doctrines of creation, sin, the person, and work of Jesus, redemption, revelation, eschatology, and so on. That's some heavy stuff to deliberate, especially from a religious scholar like Davison. Another of Davison's statements from his book which is being released in 2022, is appropriately understated. Quote, detection of alien life might come in a decade or in future centuries, or perhaps never at all. But if or where it does, it will be useful to have thought through the implications in advance. With that said, now's the time to start thinking the implications through for yourself. Who or what will you turn to if extraterrestrials are legitimized in the coming years? Will you turn to your religious tradition for guidance? 
find a new God to worship, or maybe you'll consider our otherworldly visitors your new deity. That's it for now, folks. The truth is out there, somewhere, and we're going to be keeping an eye on things for all you true believers. And if you have anything to share with us, don't hesitate to send us an email at ufoshow at joeblow.com. We're eager to hear from all our fellow UFO and outer space enthusiasts. Also, please share your thoughts and any cool extraterrestrial news you might have in the comments section. We're going to be your one-stop shop for all things alien going forward. So until next month, keep watching the skies. <laughs>